Man, they move quick. Welcome back to the final episode of Travels with My Dad, <laughs> a series where we've been taking my dad, George, on the trip of a lifetime back to his home of Malaysia. We've eaten all the food. Oh, wow. <laughs> Toward the big sites. 370 metres above street level. <laughs> Retraced my childhood steps and visited where I used to work. None of this. I'm set it's the final day of our safari with Borneo Eco Tours. But it's gonna be a big one, so I'm also excited. What a feeling. <gasps> that was a good, good, good you got goosebumps. I know. Oh, I love that you love it so much. It's awesome. There's a lot of moving parts today, so hopefully everything goes to plan. Keep it up. It's our last river cruise. We want to meet some locals, see a different part of the rainforest and finish up with a bit of a celebration and show our appreciation to you actually as well. So stick around to the end for a bit of a special message from the three of us. Salamat pagi, salamat tatang. I don't think you're supposed to use those two together, but hey, I'm being polite. It's our final morning, our final day of our three day, two night safari out here in Borneo. And if you've been following along in terms of our scouting of the big five. And that's the orangutan, the proboscis monkey, rhinoceros hornbill, crocodile and pygmy elephant. You know that at this point we have only seen three of those. We've seen the monkey, we've seen the crocodile and we've seen the orangutan. But there's still two more that we've been hoping to get our eyes on. Is that the, is that the call? Can't see it yet. Somebody see it, we need to take it off. I thought I saw it fly. Still there, on the left branches, in the middle. Oh, the okay. tall tree. Yeah. Wow, beautiful wings. Yeah. If you're not a birdie, a bird watcher, a bird connoisseur, and we're most definitely not, you might be wondering what all the fuss is about. The rhinoceros hornbill is the least common of the Borneo Big Five. So seeing not just one, but multiple is really good luck. Maybe we have Dane to thank for that. And, and what's this? <laughs> oh, that's good luck. They have a golden yellow horn on top of their beaks called a cask. It's hollow and made of similar material as fingernails. It makes their bird calls pretty special. Even the locals feel blessed every time they get to see or hear one. You like that, Georgie? Yes, that was fantastic. <laughs> I loved it. Found it, found it. Wow. Oh my gosh. Huge. Oh, what a feeling. That was a good goosebumps. You got goosebumps. I know. Oh, I love that you love it so much. It's awesome. Man. Oh, I'm not going to lie, like, the bird probably was my least, like, oh, you know, like, if we see it, we see it. But to actually see how huge that was, oh, right? Like, and to see it flying right wow. over us. Yeah. Oh my god. We were like stalking it for a minute there, eh? Yeah, we were. Lucky you heard it. You heard it. Yeah. So good. I'm sure you got it. <laughs> we got it. Yeah, I'm sure you got it. We man. got it. That was beautiful. Well, I'd say if our guide with 15 years experience got goosebumps in that moment, that must be pretty special, huh? I think we were quite lucky there. That's really cool. And it wasn't just one, like one, um, one time that we saw them either. The fact that we got to track them further down and around the river. That's awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. Just take a minute to hear this. I don't think I've been this calm, this relaxed. I mean, you heard George say the same. I'm so relaxed. <laughs> Is it just nice to not be at work? Oh, shit, shit. <laughs> no, that nothing has been stressful on this entire trip. And because everything is included, although I am just going to pay our alcohol bill, like, um, because all the food is all included, the staff are all here, the guides are all amazing. Everything's been like so calm and so chill. A few bugs here and there, a little ant on my arm. Um, but it's, you know, I'm coming into this experience, I had no idea what to expect. And 
it's just as absolute whatever I was expecting it's just absolutely blown it out of the water because I think I needed this just this chance to just kind of slow and observe Stace and her dad having such like a beautiful time together there's memories for those two for so long if you want to come and make some memories with us in person come and travel Vietnam with us next year Bookings are now open for our tour and we've already got some really cool travellers coming along with us, but there are still spots available. We're talking food tours, sunset beers, a cooking class, meeting locals, exploring cities, our old home of Hoi An, which is so awesome, snorkel day trips and so much more. So check out the link below and come and join us in Vietnam. What's that mean, team? Makan, makan, makan. Time for breakfast. Makan and kopi susu. Yeah, I was going to say, makan's all goods, but there's one thing that's even more important, eh? Yep, so if anyone has no idea what we're talking about, we're talking about breakfast and coffee. <laughs> What's the plan today then? Oh, we're leaving today, you said? Sad, yes, yeah. yes. Sad to leave. I am. And then we uh, uh, got a few more things to do in Sandakan, a rainforest discovery centre, and grab some food. Yeah. And then back to KL. So what's so special about this toast that you guys are obsessed? Oh god, it reminds me of my little, little my, my younger days in, in Malaysia when I was growing up. Kaya was a must. <laughs> it's from made out of coconut. It's like a coconut, coconut jam. jam. Coconut oh. jam. Yeah. And then it's homemade. Is it this one that's the homemade bread as well? Yeah, homemade yes, bread. Yes. But then I think don't you normally have it like you have kaya toast which is two on top of each other yes. and then you have like what's on the side that eggs or something oh yes yes that's like a, soft boiled eggs it's a kopi tiam one that we need kopi to. tiam yeah okay it's like sweet a little bit creamy thick texture but then the bread has got this this density to it because it's homemade i think so when I, I i would have never just like picked this if we've seen it like listed there i would have gone oh, i'll get jam or honey or something mm. Mm. welcome thank you welcome Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's so cute. Oh, it makes me sad. Yeah. Well, that was a croc. I'm not sure what he was eating. We could see his trail across the middle of the water, but sorry, I didn't have the wide angle lens on, so I didn't get much. That was crazy. I wasn't expecting to see a croc just randomly while we're cruising along at such speed. Good sleep, guys? Yeah, I had a really good sleep it's yeah. until we hit the Sulu Sea and it was like, good, 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 good. I was like, oh gosh, I actually did fall asleep. It was really nice. You fell asleep? Yeah, I did. Did you get a little nap? A little nap. A little nap. Yeah. Going to the markets now. The local market. It's going to be a wet market. So, it's so probably smell. a bit smelly. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's spices and stuff, and then second and third floor is. Food court uh, and. Yeah, yeah. Food court and stuff. Ooh. You can smell that already. Jeez. So we must have made a really good time on the way back. Obviously no rain, not torrential like it was on the way there. So they said, well, lunch isn't, makan, lunch isn't until 12. So give you the chance to come in here and that is pungent. Ooh, so this is where the locals are obviously grabbing all of their, all of their food, food prepping for the restaurants or for at home. And it's big. But we always love coming to places like this because you, this is where you really get to see local life. <laughs> it's easy to go to a restaurant and have food put on your plate, but when you actually get to see what's going on behind the scenes, there's like this this trading market going on behind the scenes. I love this stuff. You get to see the locals in there, in their element. We're at the Rainforest Discovery Center. Oh, there's so many little bugs. That was about a 45 minute drive from Sandakan, and according to my notes, there are around 250 different species of birds here, womp womp. as well as hundreds of flowers womp 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 womp. and different animals. It's connected to the um, orangutan rehabilitation centre that we were at the other day. So there might even be the odd orangutan. Escapee. Wild, wild orangutan. Well, no, sorry, not escapee, no, the legit wild ones. Sorry, yeah. one of the one, 100, as you said, wild in this area. Is that right, Kurt? Yeah, 100 that are wild, so. That'd be cool to see, but yeah, the biggest the selling point here for, for us from what we saw is the Rainforest Skywalk, which is about 600 meters worth of like cable that you Elevated walk skywalk. right up above or inside the canopy. It looks awesome. Been there. Oh, this is all the canopies around the world. Cool. Which one? Yeah. Yes. Rotorua, New Zealand. Cool. What about the one that we did in Australia? 
Is it that one? No, that's Western. Yeah, that's Western. Oh, it's, it looked like that, didn't it? It looks it look, it real look similar like to that. that. Maybe the same construction. Canada, oh. Costa Rica. oh, I wish we could do that one one day. That's wicked. Uh, There's a small apes called the gibbons. Oh, oh gibbon! Yeah. But uh, the, normally the gibbons are typically active in the morning. Yeah. But it will be an odd time to see them active. But my friend just spotted somewhere over there. So we might go on the other side. Whoa. He gone. Man, they move quick. Such long limbs. This place is bloody massive. So high. So many different ways and paths that you can go. Here we go, look. 483 meters to the Sipilok giant. Fascinating. Actually, the eh? No, he didn't even need to tell us. Kurt didn't even need to say what it was. Everybody just knew. Now. Oh, you reckon? Yeah. Checked it all out. Yeah, 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 that's yep. right. Yeah. Well done. Wow, team. Congrats. Pulled it in last minute. <laughs> yeah. Last excursion. Thanks, Kurt. We found we a found big them. me elephant already. Shoo. Nervous, George? No, he says. Confident. No. Cool guy. This is guy. Awesome. I didn't expect this. Wow. Epic. Looks like we're back in Abel Tasman. <laughs> Well, we've said goodbye to Kurt. If you're watching this, buddy, thank you so much. You were an awesome guide. We loved it. Now, we've got a little bit of time. We're going uh, up to the rooftop bar. It's called Barland, seventh floor of some hotel, because we're trying to find some beersies. <laughs> we don't know if it's going to be super hot. Yeah, that's the biggest here. consideration, isn't it? Super hot in this elevator. Give it a look. He's holding the button. <laughs> <laughs> holy, holy crap. Oh, we should do see the guy reception oh, just laughing at us. We're really going to need a new camera now. I reckon. <laughs> oh, you're right, Greg. Yeah, what we don't know is um, we were trying to look at photos like if this is just outside, like uncovered, that's not That's not going to fly. Because it is really so hard. muggy today. It is. That's the name of it there. Balin. We, is it not because we're barling? We're barling. Oh, okay. It's pretty. Hello, how are you? Hello. Oh, it's lovely in here. Oh, good find, babe. Damn, okay. They're really skinny. <laughs> it's already hot. Oh, whoa. We can't go up here, it's too hot. No. no. We do go back. Okay. Oh, those look good. Oh, that's the blue. I like it. On the glass, isn't it? Yeah. Cheers to an awesome adventure team. Yes, guys. Cheers to the Borneo Tiger. Oh no, I got my little thing. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Cheers, guys. Just you. And with that final drink, I'm so sad to say, but this is the end of the Travels of My Dad series in Malaysia. Welcome to Malaysia. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching along and allowing me onto your screens. And of course, an even bigger thanks to Stace and Dame for taking me on a dream come true adventure and for creating these videos as memories of our trip together. I've lost count of how many times I've said this is a dream trip. This is honestly a dream trip for me. Like I have wanted to bring dad back home to Malaysia for as long as I can remember. But it's seriously one I'll remember forever. 
It's hard for me to put into words how heartwarming it's been watching George and Stace travel together. I've tried my hardest to put them at the center of the story every time to capture their relationship and how special their bond is because it's been equally as rewarding for me to observe and share those moments with you. So thank you for watching over the past seven videos. It means so much to us. And who knows, maybe there'll be a Travels With My Dad season two. Ow! <laughs> Am I ready? <laughs> and on the way home. Two happy safarians. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, baby. <laughs>